Hello and welcome. This is Martin Tietz. I'm the product manager for TD Mobile and I'd like to show you our latest and greatest feature which is native applications built from HTML5 mobile web applications. TD Mobile 2.0 comes with the capability to compile your applications not only to mobile web applications but also to iOS and Android applications. I do have a sample application here. The sales demo application which is used to create orders and um, for customers to confirm orders and things like that. So <clears throat> what we have here is a list of orders that will be displayed and you see the default page is list of orders so this is the first page being displayed and displays a number of orders from the database. Secondly by clicking on the plus icon and here you can create our order and you can choose a customer from a list can create a new contact for that customer and the nice thing with uh, native applications is that they can integrate better with um, mobile devices. If you create a new contact we will you enter a name and you can then browse the, co the devices contacts app for the data and it will retrieve the contact data from the device uh, contact application. Then you can scan a product you can scan a QR code directly from the application without any additional tools or products that you need to install. If you click on scan product, then it will actually open the camera and allow you to scan the code. And the scanned code will decide which product to order. You can enter quantity and price. And you can switch on notifications. If you switch on notifications before you create the order here, then when the customer confirms the order, you will be sent a notification to your mobile device. So again, this screen basically has three device integration features, notifications, barcode scanning, and access to the contacts app. So when you have compiled and deployed this application to your uh, Windows IIS server, which is mainly necessary to um, for you to um, be able to serve the back-end features of these applications. And if you go to settings here, you can see that I have enabled Cordova build and we are using Cordova to compile this application to native uh, Android in this case now. And you see that different passes and, and the URL um, that will be used to access the back-end features of the application when it is being deployed on Android. So now to compile the Android application, you need to run a batch file, which is um, create Cordova project. And this will install the Cordova environment for this project. It's downloading everything it needs, plug in wise from GitHub. See, it's adding the several plugins. Cordova has several commands that you can use. Cordova run Android will compile and load the application onto my Android emulator here on this um, Windows 10 machine. See, now target specified deploying to emulator. And the app has been created and is now being installed on the Android emulator. Here it comes. The first thing that you should see is the list of orders. Here it comes. So here's the native Android application that I have compiled from a TD mobile application. You see the list of orders here. And I create, can create a new order, choose a customer, contact Jim, product, TD Mobile, quantity for price 566 get notifications 
and create order. Now this order has been created and the app goes back to the order screen. Now let's watch the same application on an Android Galaxy S4 telephone. The app is running. You saw the list of orders. I created a new order. I choose a company. Now I'm searching for a contact. Tapping on the search button there retrieves the contact from the contacts app of the device. The contact is created. And now I'm going to scan the product code from a QR code using the device's camera and the barcode plugin. There's decoded the barcode, which is um, TD Mobile. The value has been set to TD Mobile. Entering the quantity and the price. Choose to get notifications, and now I'm creating the order. And I'm getting a window here that I have created the orders. Now at the back end, the, or, um, the customer has received an email or notification that there is a new order, and now the customer can approve the order. Once the order is approved, I'm getting this notification here, which is an Android OS notification that the order has been approved and can be um, invoiced now. Easily build cross-platform mobile business apps with TD Mobile 2.0.